else. Let's see how this goes down. Oh, come at me. Oh, yo, we got, we got both taunts. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, he says, come at me. <laughs> I, 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 know I, don't, I don't know. I thought it was still, come on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, <laughs> you, you got it, Nintendo. Right. You got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go, though. Ooh, parries the neutral air. Light goes in immediately, Nair into jab. All right, so, I mean, it, it's crazy because Isam has a lot of uh, matchup experience in Smash 4, but I don't know how much Foxes he plays in Ultimate. Um, he did move from Florida, so I know there was a lot of great Foxes in Florida, and I, I'm not too sure if there's any uh, Pikachus in New England. Yeah, we'll have to see, though. Uh, has a very slight lead, but of course, Pikachu is a very light character, can die to a lot of Foxes' strong aerial, so we'll have to see Ooh, who takes the first attack. Off and how. Isam setting up with this T Jolt. Light, both, now both these players, the damage output's really great on both these characters, so we're already in the area of trying to find this stock here. Falling there, Isam doing a really good job of avoiding that. It's going to be Fox's main out and main setup to get that up smash conversion. Oh, barely survives that back air. But he's got himself at the ledge one more time, tries to get it, and that dash attack will do it. Yeah, Pikachu being a short character, it can be really hard to land that Fox back air. You got to sink it really, really low. Yeah. Now Isam up and um, up a stock. Let's see if we can get this damage. He lands the back air, gets the dash sack follow up as well. Tries to catch the landing, but also avoiding that nair. He also still doesn't want to get reversed with a nair into up smash. Yeah. And we got the lightning loops, and Isam is still going 64%. Tries to get that back air, not quite gonna be able to find it. Oh, Ooh. and tries to find the up smash out of shield. I feel like oh, Light's kind of getting greedy trying to find the kill here. Yeah. And I, did he take any damage that stock? I don't think he landed think, a single hit. I don't think so Isam either. literally zero to death in that second stock. Finally, Light gonna get that stock, but at what cost? Isam already starting up these lightning loops. Oh, into the dare, gets another one. That's it. Oh, no, he still has his jump. Oh, but drags him down with the nair. Oh, that's definitely at that time. Oh, oh no, but he saves him. He saved him. You trying to style too hard, my man. You trying to style way too hard. Wow, I wonder if Light's gonna win this game. And Fox is a very explosive character. Let I mean, we'll see. <laughs> I, 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 I I sighed because the possibility is still so real for it that is. to happen. Yeah, Fox is crazy. This character is so explosive. I, I definitely think Isam can close it out, but the, like you said, the possibility's there. The double parry almost connecting into the up air. So, so scary. Catches the landing and the illusion to the up air. Are we going to see the comeback? Isam. The classic <laughs> Fox comeback. Isam just looked at Light for a good second like, wow, you did that. And then he just nods in approval. Okay, Dash that comes in. All, all right. right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, I was a little scared there for a second. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so right there, Isam taking game number one. He's still hot from this loser's run that he's been on. Light was sitting cold. I don't know if he was warming up or anything like that, but we'll see how this game number two comes to fold. This, like, like we said, this is going to be a run back from Genesis 6, and uh, Light did 3-0 Isam, so already Isam on a much better start. Are we, we uh, this, this chair swap, switch. Sw switching sides? Pulling a Sonic Fox here? Dang. <laughs> I counterpick that chair. <laughs> <laughs> All right. and, and now uh, Esam gets to pick the stage, even though he won. That's that's how it works, right? <laughs> the, the chair claws. Chair claws, oh man. Oh. All righty. Um, these two getting uh, a little romantic with their <laughs> controller wires here. All right, but we're getting plugged in. We're going to get right back into the action. If you guys are just joining us, this is Grand Finals of Ultimate Nimbus. The last chance qualifier to get in the summit is going to be decided on, on this set. Whoever wins this set, or no, whoever wins this tournament, so Ezem has to win two sets to win this tournament. Light yeah. has to win one. Whoever wins this tournament will end up getting the last chance qualifier spot for summit. Yeah, very what, big deal. What better place to have it in grand finals? If, if it, if, I'm not going to lie, if it was like ZD and like Light, already decided. It's, yeah, like, yeah. it's like not yeah. as hype, but it's not, like not so hype. It, you have to guarantee the winner of the entire tournament to take it. So we'll see how this goes. All right, so once again, we're going to have the Fox Pika matchup. I do not foresee any of these players switching their characters. Um, pretty much uh, both these players throughout all the really big tournaments, um, they pretty much just go these characters. Yeah. So um, Fox Specialist, uh, Light, best Fox in the world, versus Isan, the best Pikachu in the world, battling out for this last summon spot. Both of these guys, well, actually, Light didn't opt in for the voting, but Isan did, and he didn't make it in. So yep. he's coming in for that last chance qualifier spot, and also Light looking to get into that summon spot. Yep. See how it goes. Oh, just training blow for blow on the air to air. 
Okay, nice there into the forward tilt. Try to catch the landing. And it looks like we got light counter pick on Kalos. All right, gonna give himself a little bit more room. Ceiling's a little bit higher. And you might like that platform layout for Fox's recovery. You have that yeah. extra high platform that you can fire Fox to or Illusion to as well. Mm -hmm. Wow, Isan stood in shield for so long, he was really scared of what Light was capable of doing. Wow, that reverse up smash. Going for a crazy read there. Not yeah. quite able to find it, but still. Oh man, Isan, wow, the parry into the insta up tilt. And we've seen Light set up so many situations, and the back air to cover the quick attack. And it is so hard to edge guard Pikachu. Amazing read from Light. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's so fast that up tilt, you don't even need to parry multiple times on a hit like Nair. You can just go in for that up tilt immediately and still get that punish. And already putting on so much damage onto Esam stuck. It's, I blinked, and he's at man. 90 all of a sudden. Fox is so cool when he starts getting going, man. This character is <laughs> so swag. Like, I, I love how Light's ending his combos off as well with the up smash and then just getting the reset. And another up smash to seal out that second stock. Light coming in really Real confident in this game, number two. That was a really great dare. Put him in a position where he wasn't able to tech because there was no ground and still had the reach to get that up smash. Very smart stuff from Light. All right, utilizing that wall jump to uh, get back on stage without using any specials, and the damage is coming. Gets the reset, gets the tech chase into the down smash. Already 76%, and the forward smash, the three stock on Esam. Light striking back that game, number two. And uh, yeah, Esam's just like, what happened to me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Light was like, okay, wait a minute. I, I have to wake up and then remember. And I was like, I, I'm not. I'll give you a game because you beat Salem for me. But <laughs> now. Yeah, and that's that's so crazy. Like, that that comeback on Salem in Winner's Finals, like, this whole bracket could have been so different. Yeah. Like, if, if Salem was sitting in Winner's Side Grand and, like, these two had to face off in Loser's Finals, yeah. like, absolutely crazy. And, man, if you guys didn't see that set with Light versus Salem, you guys are missing out. Go ahead and watch it after this tournament or watch the VOD. It was so absolutely insane. Yep, it should be up on uh, YouTube.com slash uh, 2G, 2G Gaming. 2G gaming yes. yeah. And then you guys can check out the VODs there. I expected they hit like 100K overnight oh, or free. something like, like that. Dude, that set was so insane, man. Like, oh, man. Woo -wee. But we're here in Grand Finals. We have both of these competitors, the best Pikachu, the best Fox, fighting for the last spot in Ultimate Summit. Now we're going into game three. It's one piece of 1-1 um, one, one, pop here. But, I mean, Light had a very convincing game number two with that three stock. Okay, uh, FD, variant of Battlefield, something you don't get to see too often. The but ultimate mix-up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right, but here we go. Let's see what happens here. Easy, I'm already doing a little bit better, actually landing hits than that last game. <laughs> yeah, he definitely got bodied that last game. And we seeing a lot of Nair convergence coming out from Easy. Great, beautiful tech chase here. Gonna get that grab. Also getting in the fair into the down tilt. The jab lock into the forward smash. Not gonna kill, but a lot of damage. Yeah. Putting himself back in the stage. I like that use of Nair multi hit. Oh, the double parry! Wow, so good. He was able to get the trade off as well. Shorten on the illusion, but Esam was ready to pull the trigger. He got the forward air and got the edge guard. I like that idea from Light. I thought he tried to use the upbeat to stall himself to make Esam commit to a different direction, but Esam just barely clipped them. What Ooh! happened? What? The drag down air into the down air. Esam is definitely showing off this game. And man, is Esam going to three stock Light? Yeah, I mean, that would be a great answer just to stop some momentum coming from Light. <laughs> we'll have to see. Goes for the up smash. That nah, will fam. close it out. Yeah. Nah, fam. Calm down. Yeah. Calm down. All right. <laughs> like, th that was tight, but calm down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I was, that was a great edge guard. I still can't get over that. I, like, looked away to talk to you, and then all of a sudden, Esam was already killing Light. <laughs> it's crazy. Esam actually did that conversion in at the E3 demo, like, or oh. when he was playing, um, like, at like the demo. And I, oh, at right, E3. right, right. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's just crazy how, like, Oh, the drag down, wow. I'll try okay. to get that back air to finish it off. Not quite going to close it out. Jab reset, pushes him forward. Oh, and tries to get the tech chase, but going to get another up smash. And I like that Isan does not cash out with damage there. He knew that the forward smash wasn't kill, so he goes for another tech chase to get him further to the edge where he can get the kill. And I really like that risk reward coming out from Isan. Yeah, working out for him very nicely there. Oh, illusion? Not going to get anything out of it, though. Try to go for the up air. Yeah, didn't catch the landing there with the up smash. Isam trying to get an up smash of his own, but gets the sour spot. He's not finding these back airs. I yeah. feel like some platforms or something will be able to help him out. Up throw. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> that freeze frame, like, Pikachu, Pikachu looks so angry, dude. Like, Pikachu was like, this is for three stocking me last game. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was like, doesn't even toss him. Just uses his head to, like, push him up. Yeah, it's, like, it's like, like if, if you get sent that high off of a throw, 
Like, like Skull Bash should be way stronger than that, dude. Like, <laughs> just, just saying, canonically speaking, like, yeah. if you're able to do that off of a throw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, so Isai, I'm going to go up 2-1 here against Light, and Light has to get it together. He has this set he can burn, even if he loses it. But, like, the next set, Isam still has that momentum, and it's still dangerous. And you, you can never underestimate Isam because his his aggression and his like overwhelming advantage state can just be ridiculous to deal with. So East, like I feel like Light has to seal it out here, or it's just going to be so so dangerous that set number two. And so it looks like we're going to, of course, keep it with the same characters here. Light coming from New England, and Isam currently living in the Midwest, I believe. Used to live, used to reside in Florida. Yeah, now in uh, Oklahoma. Oklahoma, right? yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Going on Smashville, smaller stage, and there's a platform there for maybe Light to try and try Get some something. platform like, extensions. Yeah, and all that jazz, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like Tech Chase platform into back air because like those raw backers on the ground were not quite working for Light, and he wasn't able to find them, and Esam was able to survive for so long because of it. Yeah, and another thing about survival, this stage is uh, very, not like the smallest in Blast Zones, but definitely one of the smaller stages in the Blast Zones. Yeah. So if Light can abuse Pikachu's weight and the fact that his move just hit really, really hard, um, he can get some early stocks here. Yeah. Oh, try to get the up tilt into up smash. Not quite going to be in the range for it. Ooh, tries to get the parry, but dropping shield a little too early there. Okay, Esam going for this downer space and gets the forward smash to connect and a really good trade. Esam trying to set up this edge guard. Oh, I like that the empty hop mix up into the jump there. Not quite going to work for, work that time around, but still keeping his options open, trying to go for these timing mix ups as well to keep Esam on his toes. Esam pushed to the corner here, going for. Wow, no up smash out of shield, no tech chase as well. Wow, very uncharacteristic of Light to miss the punishes like that. And here's the Firefox to down air. Does not hit the horizontal box, hitbox, and Light is able to make it back on stage. Yes, poked there from that uh, quick attack, though, putting him into another offstage situation. Shields for that thunder just in case. And he gets that back air, catching him on a short hop. Exactly. And Light surviving these edge guards. He's at 167%. He said, I'm going to hit the back air, and that should deal that stock there. Now, two stocks apiece. All right, the thunder shots over. Oh, hey, shine. <laughs> I like it. Ooh, the turnaround grab mix up as well. Trying to finish it off with the up smash. Isam, knowing that, going to jump away. Ooh, the cross up, but it don't matter. Esam got that Nair out of shield covering both sides. Really, really strong out of shield options. And just Pikachu have, just in general, back air out of shield and forward air out of shield. Really, really great out of shield options for this character. Yeah, exactly. Especially when you're getting into Rising. It's, it's because Pikachu's so short, you can catch most characters. Exactly. It's not going to be an issue. Right, here we go. Nair into Ooh. up smash. Barely not going to be able to take it. Oh, yeah. I like the Thunder covering him as well. Ooh, there's a quick attack in the Thunder. Oh, tries to get that charge on the forward smash, but not enough. Light utilizing that, though. Tech chase the forward smash connects. Oh my god, that empty hop just to make sure he got the right positioning wherever he teched, got that forward smash. That's going to be the stock. Two to one here, potentially going to game five. Light keeping up the momentum, gets that Nair into the jab. And not only is Light nailing all of these beautiful kill moves, he's looking great while doing it. Look at this movement. <laughs> Look at this damage on this box. Isam already at a 100%. The back air to seal it out. We're going to a game number five. Yeah, these two are just destroying each other. Oh, Left yes. And right. Like, it's great. I, it's so great. And like even um, Pikachu and Fox in Smash 4, like th those matches were so volatile. And uh, definitely sticking tried and true here into the next game here in Ultimate. Such a volatile matchup. We're going to either, like both these characters are just combo heavy. The damage output's insane. They have so many crazy kill setups. And it's just so many, so much fun to watch the carnage. I mean, something's never going to change, man. These two are some of the best characters. Smash 64, and they're coming in as an ultimate. Still some of the best characters yeah. in this game. These characters, tried and true, always pretty relevant in the meta for all the games, honestly. Yeah. All right, so we're got a game five situation. Can Light seal it out? Can he guarantee his spot in ultimate summit? Or is Esam going to reset, and we're going to have a whole nother set? If, uh, if Esam wins the set, I feel like that could be a big momentum kill for Light, and yes. that could be so big because it's, you're so close. You're in game five scenario already, and you just want to get the set over with. You want to get the tournament done. Go home. Go back to New England. It's, yeah. You, you got to go back three hours. Yeah, it's, like, it's huh. going to be rough, man. And I, I feel like even in terms of like stamina, too, um, the, I, I don't know who has like the better stamina, but it, it's very relevant thing. Like some people, some players just start start running out of gas. Yeah. We'll see how it goes, though. Both of these two relatively even uh, in terms of like who will be able to attack on more damage. Because Light, as soon as he gets an opening, broads it back already to even percents. 
Yeah, give him that one up tilt. Again, trying to, trying to go for that cross up, but Pikachu very, very good at being able to have that cross up protection on shield. Oh, decides to go for again? it there. Yeah, no, up again. smash, yeah. Tried to go for that cross up again, but Isam was ready for the punish. The tech chase, beautiful directional air dodge to the ledge there. Yeah. Even if you don't, if you don't want to put your tech stuff in a tech situation, you can always opt for that. Go retreat to the ledge. Always works out as an option too. The back air and unfortunate SD from Light. Isam will take that straight to the bank. Yep. I like the idea just to go inward so that the, the angle is a lot harder to try and challenge, especially with a character like Pikachu. Oh, the taunt too. Oh After yeah, that you, up smash. You already know, man. Light is all about those taunts. Powers him up, and he, he's gonna need it, man. He, he wants to seal this out. He does not want this to go to another set. All right, air out of shield. Okay, Isam coming in with that air pressure. Light trying to get that up smash, but Isam not falling for it. And all these trades in favor of Light. He's still taking the damage. He's still applying that pressure. Oh, not quite going to be able to clip right there. Let's oh, wait go. a minute. But Isam getting a hit of his own. Tries to catch it, but a beautiful defensive air dodge coming out from Light. Oh, but the dash attack. And man, back and forth for both of these players. Oh, the oh, jab reset. A... Pushes him forward. Gets that forward smash. That's going to be the stock. Two to one here. Unfortunate with that SD from Light too, because now Esam has a two stock um, lead that he can really work with here. Yeah, we'll see if Light can take this stock right off here. Tries to get the normal get up and tries to get the nair as well, but he's off stage. No Would jump you, either. Wait a minute, the stretcher. Oh, he has to go for the Firefox. He gets it. Wow, Esam was so close to getting that edge guard. Yeah, and he. Right there, Light was really close to getting that up smash. These high recoveries, not quite working out. Hasn't quite touched the ground yet. Oh, and the parry into the up smash. We're bringing it down to a last stock situation here on the first set of grand finals. Wow, and only 66% here on Light. He's got to make something happen, but Fox can make these crazy comebacks. He has the damage output to back it up, but right now, Isam not giving in, not letting him have any opening. Oh, oh, and he gets hit by that four smash. We got a bracket reset. Isam with the pop off there. He knows he's got one more shot. He's got one more set to take it all, take it all the way home and bring himself to summit here. Yes, exactly. And now that we have a bracket reset, it's all on the line. Nobody has any sort of advantage. Whoever wins this next set is going to summit. So we'll see. We're definitely going to have the same characters. Um, we'll see who's going to. Oh, man, it, it's just so crazy because Isan's going to have so much momentum going into the second set. But at the same time, light's not too cold like it was in the beginning of the set. So uh, it's, it's so much of a give and take. But we'll see who has this slight advantage here on this game number one. And we'll, we'll see wh what happens from there, man. And like both these players with such ex explosive play styles, like, once they get a hit, it's just so much damage, and they convert into the kill so well and so clean. This was the set that we deserved at Genesis that we did not get, and now we got ourselves a reset. Let's see who's going to carry this momentum. Can Light bring himself back around and just keep himself cool? Or if Isam is just going to start steamrolling because he's got all this momentum going. Yeah, and I mean, it, it's crazy. When you start fighting confident Isam and he's getting all these edge guards off stage, it can be very, very scary. Yeah. All right, so we got here. Ne the next set, we got the reset. Everyone wanted the reset. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone wanted to see some more of this action. And now we're going to have Light versus Esam. Grand finals reset. Whoever wins this will go to Summit and right now going tick for tack here on damage. Light needs one more opening to bring this back around to even percent. But it looks like Esam is giving him a hard time trying to find those openings. Esam using that low profile from Pikachu to his advantage to keep away from Fox's options. Oh my god, the tap reset too! Yeah, really, really nice coming out from Light. Oh, the backer going through the T-Jolt right on and, of course, shooting that Thunder as well. Oh, he gets it, gets it. Oh, he misses the up smash. Had the reaction, but just reacted a little too late there. Yeah. Backer going to send him back on stage here. Uh, Isam trying to push the issue, but not going to connect back to neutral. Ooh. Oh, and just goes in there, notices Isam. A little bit too comfortable in the air there. Gets that anti air with that up smash. Yeah. Isam definitely looking for a drag down fair con conversion, but going to send him off stage here. The Firefox mix up and the multi hit spike. Nice angle for Light here, but Isam still on the assault. Finally, Light getting some damage here, 32%. The parry into the up tilt on these Nairs. Yeah, a little bit too early Woo! on that Nair gave Light so much opportunity to get another um, up tilt into a big conversion. 73% already. I mean, with the right positioning, that can kill Pikachu already. But we got the down smash. That should be able to close it out. No matter which way you're getting sent, that's going to be a stock there. But he's got to be careful, man. Light lands a single Sour Nair into up smash. That should be it. Yep. Ooh, very good call out. Ooh, and the reverse up air as well. Very nice conversion here. Oh, no. Ooh. 
was so close to converting that into an, uh, a stock there for Isam. Oh, I love that little drift from Isam. Did not air dodge directly, but still had the brawl air dodge to be able to act out and just avoid that up smash by drifting towards the ledge. Oh man, and Isam knows that he wants this Nair. He's doing such a good job at avoiding it. Yeah, it's like definitely one of those situations similar to like Smash 4 Fox, where if you don't quite get the setup that you're looking for and you can avoid that, then all of a sudden then you're slowly tacking on the lead. And Isam's yeah. taking great advantage of that. Oh man. And both players here at two stock at kill percent here. Who's gonna pull the trigger? Isam gets the down air, sends horizontally though, but he's able to cover the short illusion and gets the forward air. Yep, Isam up a stock now, looking real good. Starting off, like we said, with that momentum, but light not too far behind. Just gotta pull himself together and look for that setup that he needs. Oh, tries to get the up smash, but oh, the up air, still not enough. Thunder to protect him, I like it. Same trick that he did before. And right now, Light has to find the stock. Gets the tech chase? No! But he gets the back air pickup from the corner pressure. Ooh, the Nair, though. Here's big damage coming out for Isam. The lightning loop, but Light able to air dodge out of it. Okay, we got the up tilt. Oh, okay, the thunder comes out. Uh, the platform's in the way, so I don't know if he was just looking for what or something like that. Yeah, he had that the ceiling insurance there. Oh, but we got another jab lock here set up into the dash attack. Isam looking to catch the landing, but the dash grab gets avoided from Light. Okay, right now the t -Jolts, I, I love how Light is maneuvering around these t as well. Really, really clean movement. Well, there's a jab to break up some pressure. Oh, just a very uh, telegraphed Nair. Asam was ready for it. Gets that Nair out of shield to punish it. Really good job from Light. You cannot miss these techs versus Pikachu. But it can be hard. You know, Fox is the fastest faller in the game. So after you get hit, you have very little time to yeah. go for that tech. Oh, gets that single jab, just one punch. And tries to get something going afterwards, but another edge guard positioning. Oh, Isam trying to hit the spare again. Really good delay on that double jump and the illusion there. Oh, doesn't get any out of shield options here. Both players at the last stock. Another tech. Oh, the Nair and the up smash not going to connect. Isam going to get an offstage situation with this back throw. Oh, the up air. Oh, I was like, I was like, that move does not kill. <laughs> yeah, uh, that, that game is, or this game is kind of useless when it comes to telling you when someone's going to die. Wow, gonna he make it back just fine. Oh, this sh yeah, this back throw might be it. No, he's barely surviving. Oh, but he had to do an early illusion, but I Isam not. Wow. Taking advantage of it, and he gets the up smash after. Oh my god, do you, do you see wow. both lights pop off and Isam's face? <laughs> so many emotions <laughs> happening right here. Yeah, this game one is so, so important, and Isam had that game. It was so close. Man, barely able to get back on stage with the directional air dodge as well, and he turned it around. He got the Nair, which will always follow with that juicy, juicy up smash. And Light gonna sneak that game number one right underneath Esam's nose. Alrighty, here we go. Back to Town and City. Well, I mean, this is a very, uh, like, from the string of all the games they played, they've been here at least once, so. Yeah. Oh, they switched names, that's funny. That was weird, oh yeah. All right, okay. so going into this game number two, Light Up game, Light, light Up 1-0 was able to get the Nair into the up smash that game number one. So see how it is, Town & City is the pick here for Esam. Yeah. There's the back there. Yeah, I was very surprised at uh, that trade, but all right. Yeah, okay, it works out sometimes. Okay, but right now, Light with the advantage. I feel like even though Light won that game, Esam had a lot of control of that match, but it looks like Light is finally starting to really pick up the pace of the match again. Oh, he almost got that up smash on the quick attack callout, but Esam gonna illusion high, utilizing that high platform. I really like the play coming out from Light, yeah. Even if he got sent back off stage again, he at least had the jump mix up in exactly. case, but he's actually able to make it back to the stage, so that worked out even better for him. Oh, the pummel, the jump into the directional air dodge, and the tech chase from Esam. He's still keeping it going. All these trades, Esam bringing it right back. So much damage off that advantage stage. Oh, man, trying to keep the pressure on, but Esam able to somewhat thwart off this pressure here, gets the backer out of shield. Yeah, uh, on this Kalos variant, especially on Town and City, it's really hard for him to just find, wow, that back throw <laughs> killed. It's really hard for him to find those back airs just raw at the ledge, just yeah. because he can choose a short character. <laughs> but if you get on the platform, then that's a different story. Exactly, and it, it's actually interesting because I didn't think that back throw was gonna kill either, but since Pikachu rolls so far and he utilized that space on the platform, but of course the lightning loops, Isam keeping it going. Wait a minute, directional air dodge, the Firefox does not get hit, doesn't get the spike hitbox, able 
able to make it back to the shine. Where? What's going on? They're still fighting off stage. Oh man, looking like a Dragon Ball Z moment right there. <laughs> Reflected the thunder, then yes. tried to come back from it, and then Esam got the clip by the Firefox, but we're finally making it back. The four smash sends him to the other side. Oh man, the back air, beautiful jump. Regular air dodge from light, very, very nice utilization. It is very hard to pull that off because you have to let go of the direction to not get a directional air dodge. Right. The back throw is gonna do it. Town and City side blast zone's not the biggest. Yeah. Oh, he, he tried to read a jump out of shield. Not quite gonna work out, but another parry into the up tilt. Still not gonna quite tack on the damage yet. And both yeah. of them trade out their up tilts. Yeah, parry up tilt is such a great option as well because you get that upper part of up tilt which leads into up air. So it is such a strong option and Light is definitely showing it off for here for Fox. Oh, oh calls the jump. Wait a minute. Oh, directional air dodge. Esam not able to capitalize off that, but still picking up all the damage on stage. Yeah, I thought Esam was going to be able to read that high recovery because the, the platform was starting to move away and yeah. he had no other options there, but uh, not quite going to work out there. But still, Esam with a very nice lead. Not able to find that up smash that he was looking for. Yeah, and that right there, that is going to be a big issue here. Fox looking for the kill, and right now Isan doing a really good job of not giving it to him. That shield looking really low, but all worth it, getting all the throws and all the damage. But Isan feeling himself a little too much, trying to go for that stock. Might have to bite him. Okay, and pulls out the taunts as well. All right, and we've seen this time and time again, light down, but the down smash, the anti-air, beautiful Esam no. He wanted to get something started with a falling aerial, so what a call out from Esam. Yeah, uh, as soon as he got hit by the down smash, light just kind of looked at Esam and was like, okay, fine. So we're going 1-1 here. Yeah, back and forth. We'll see who gets the slight advantage here in game three, because if you win game three and it ends up going game five, it's going to be on your counter pick. So very important, pivotal part of the set. Yeah. Already a great redemption story for Esam. Not the greatest placing at Frostbite at 65th. And uh, yeah, just like he said he'll bring it back in the next major, and he's definitely doing it right now here at Nimbus. Yeah. So and with so much on the line. Yeah. You know exactly. what I mean? Like having that, that summit spot is so huge. Yeah. And man, it's going back and forth. We're here. Grand finals of Ultimate Nimbus. Whoever wins gets to go to the summit, and we're already here. Grand finals. Reset. Whoever wins this set gets the spot. Now Esam and uh, Light doing battle here, and we're here, game number three on Smashville. Oh my god, tacking on 52% already with this ledge control. Guess that MT got back throw this time around. Trying to get a DI mix up or something. Can, can we talk about how like strong Light is right off the bat? Like right when it says go, Light's, Light's messing you up. And just like that, almost taking the stock with that forward smash. Light with the corner pressure. Look at how he's moving around, and Isam has to respect everything, almost nailing that up smash. Ooh, oh, the call out. Yeah. Oh, but another call out. Up smash right into him. I really like that regular air dodge into the ground, into that up smash, utilizing how large that hitbox is and very, very little end lag on regular air dodge to the ground. Right. Oh, but Esam striking back, only taking 2%. He needs to recover. Esam with the down air gets the spike this time. And we're even, boys. Yep. Back to Smash 4 terms here with an extra minute on the clock. But here we go. Uses that landing there, try to get out. But this time, Light puts up his shield. He's like, OK, I'm not getting jabbed 20 times into 20% on the ledge here. Here it again. The lightning loops going to pick it up the single hit of the Nair. And so much damage here. Already 56% here on Light. Esam keeping the pressure up. Oh, wow. I like the, the movement right there. It was so, so clean. Esam, another great conversion. And he gets the call out. He gets the thunder. Now up two stocks to one here against Light. Yeah, Light scoot up forward in his chair. He's starting to wake up even more than he has already. He's woke, dude. Yeah, he's <laughs> trying to bring it back. Getting 67%. One big conversion. That could bring it back, especially against a Light character like Pikachu. But again, Esam doing a good job on the survivability. This entire second set, mind you. And Dragging him down into oh the tear. That's it. 33%. He's done. What a dominating game number three. Like we saw Light open out really, really hard. And Esam just nailing the reads on stage, getting the thunder, and then getting another drag down Nair into the down air. So, so clean off stage. And Esam could ride this momentum into a 3-1 victory. We'll see if Light can bring this to a game number five. We'll have to see. I mean, that... <laughs> Oh my god, I can't. I just can't believe my eyes. Esam is swinging right now. Yes. Looking amazing. Esam is... Oh, what's this music? Uh, I can't tell what stage this is. I don't know. We'll find out, but yeah. game number four. Man, Esam kind of put 
put Light in the body bag that yeah. game. So we'll, we'll definitely see Light. Light definitely a player that's not going to get discouraged by that by all means. Um, we'll see how he strikes back, but already East Ham getting the first hit. Yeah, and already this ominous music to bring us into a potential last game situation. Great, great pick from Light. I'm, I'm sure who picked the music. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, nice grab. Let me try to catch this up air. Ooh, almost catches after that up air, but the quick attack. Not going to land that up tilt, though. Okay, gets that nair, though. Tries to chase him downwards, but the brawl air dodge brings him back around. And I, I like the um, forward air usage from Light. Just throwing out some more active hitboxes in front of him. Definitely something um, that is a pretty good move. Oh, wow. Off the T-Jolt as well. So much damage. Oh, man. Try to read a roll or something. Trying to catch Light under pressure. But the spot dodge instead, not quite going to work. Out for him, but oh. gets clipped by Thunder. That was so scary. If you got hit by the base, that was Dunsky's for yeah. Light. And right now, we'll see if he can get this first stock advantage or if Esam is going to continue with this momentum. No punish on the up smash. Light wasn't in position. Isam trying to get this back here, trying to get this forward smash as well. You know Isam wants this stock as well. He wants this early lead. Yeah. Light not quite giving it to here either, but gets that anti-air with that back air. Barely avoids that up smash. Light trying to find something, but just dashes away. Turns back to a better position. Trying another day to try and get a conversion here. Here's the forward airs and the nares and the nair. The backwards nair to up smash off the ledge jump. What a reversal off the ledge trap. Light going all the way. Yeah, again, great reactions. I mean, sometimes when you land with that nair, you don't know what side you're going to end up on. But just light with the great awareness and reactions to be able to get that conversion, take out that stock when he needed to before Esam got even more momentum going in. Oh, the down smash. Is this going to be it? No, get, sending light to the left here, but can Isam nail the down air? No, he can't. Oh, but the forward smash will hit the mark on the illusion. What a read from Isam. Only 40%. Okay, 56% tacking on the damage, trying to bring back that momentum. Okay, wait. Oh, I like the shine there, and he buffered a roll as well. Really good stuff. You can buffer roll and jump. Or spot dodge. Okay, another t jolt and we see Isam trying to make these approaches with the Thunder Jolt, but Light is doing such a good job of maneuvering around it or utilizing his shine. Wait a minute. Oh, there's another Nair. Already Light hunting for this Sour Nair into the other smash. He wants this kill. Yeah. Okay. Beats out the air to air. Gets that Nair. Not oh. able to find it, though. Goes a little bit too far. Just read the drift and the positioning, but not the air dodge. And he's able to come back down with an up smash. All right. And right now, Light looking maybe to bring come into this game number five with the momentum as well. This is going to be a lot of damage getting that jab on the edge. Slowly tacked it on. I'm sure that stale cue on that jab is like over <laughs> overextended itself. Yeah. <laughs> His other moves are definitely fresh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the dash tag Nair. Try to get the reset as well. Wait a minute. Gets the grab. He's got Isan stuck in this shield. Oh, oh tries to catch him with that thunder. Could have potentially brought it back around, but still Isan working with some momentum here. The high recovery. He's not gonna be able to catch that air dodge and Light is be able to reverse himself back around here. Oh, wait a minute. All these sour nairs are connecting. You got to be careful, Isam. One more of those, and that could be your stock. And oh. that could be a game number five. Okay, I love that mix up from Light doing the low recovery this time around. All right. Can Isam close it out? Can he nail this edge guard? Can he put Light in a position? Or will the nair connect? Will the up smash find its mark? Uh, we saw before he killed Light at 33% with that meteor. So we'll have to see how this goes down. Tries to go in. The Thunder Jolt covering him wow, as well. Light so not committing smart. to it. Right now, Isam using the Thunder Jolt and the Quick Attack with like a combination of two, but he lands the forward air off stage. Tries to call out the high recovery, but misses the forward air. Yeah, goes a little bit on the medium side. Not as high as Light was going before. Oh, the dare comes in, but he's not uh, able to get anything. Those straight backers not quite working out either. All the cameras are pointing at these players, knowing this is potentially the last stock situation coming in. For both Wait a minute, players. the tech chase, he gets the dash attack. Lights off stage, he goes another high illusion. Wait a minute, oh man, and Isam just staying in shield. He know he can work out of shield. Another air dodge, but he's not gonna fall for it again. The quick attack off stage, the directional air dodge back in though. He's getting that, he's getting that momentum back, already bringing it back around 88%. How's he gonna catch the landing? Tries to go for an up smash, giving Light a taste of his own medicine, but it doesn't work out here. Oh, he clips it right there, but he, he misses. doesn't get the tech chase. He misses the jab lock, so uncharacteristic of Isam. That was the set, another Ray of hope for Light here. He connects the back air. We're going to get a game number five. Game number 10. Oh, yes. You. Yes. No. <laughs> Dang. Can, can I get a times two? Can I get a times two? We're here. We're here. Game number 10. And oh, my Lord. This is for the last spot in Summit. If you guys are just joining us, we're here. Ultimate Nimbus, man. And oh, what a tournament. What, like, just this whole top eight this whole bracket is just absolutely insane these players are getting pushed to the absolute limit 
game number 10 coming up next. Do you see both of these players? They look so exhausted. They're, yes. <laughs> I mean, my heart is racing just from watching these two. Can you imagine what these two players are feeling right now? Yeah. Just absolutely. And what is on the line? The last spot in Summit. We saw, we had so many talented players opt in for the vote, but there was only so much spots. But, of course, there's always the last chance qualifier, and we're here. Game 10. I hope you guys are enjoying the stream so far, and, man, what a wild ride we're in for. I hope that Light looking exhausted there wasn't too much of a tell to Esam about maybe if he keeps up his stamina, that's something we talked about. If he keeps up that stamina, maybe this will be a great momentum stopper for Esam. Yeah. But we'll have to see. These two are going to go run it back all the way to town and city. Pretty much back where we started, I think, and for this the, entire grand finals. Yeah. Here's the loops already 60%. Esam trying to get the reset, gets the Thunder Drone, man, and combos it into down smash. Are you dead? No, not just yet. Wow. He yeah. almost got to zero to death, man. Oh, my God. That would have been crazy. If Light did a high illusion, that would have been over. It would have been done. Okay, going to reset the jump on the platform, but Esam still keeping the pressure on. Only 8%. Now 10% on Esam. He's doing so good. The Nair into the down smash, and what a lead for Esam. That's a, that was a great conversion. I don't know why we didn't see more of that earlier in this set, but that's going to work out great for uh, Esam there and getting basically an entire stock lead. Light has a lot to try and come back from. But I wouldn't count Light out yet. I've seen this man just powers up when he's behind, and man, Light, and he has the character to do it. Very explosive character being Fox, and he's the best Fox in the world, so it's just absolutely insane what he can do. But Esam starting up these loops once again. All right, the up tilt chains one more time. He's getting so consistent with these lightning loops as we get later on into this bracket. Already pretty much a guarantee, 54%, and is still climbing here. Looking like he wants to try and take the next stock before Light can close off Esam's here. Yeah, and right there, the, the very high ceilings in Town and City going to save Esam. Already still living with these three stocks. And man, Light has already taken 75%. He's got to find the stock. He's trying to weave in through these Thunder Jolts. And he's got to be so careful because even if he goes for Nair, even if he crosses up, it's not safe against Pikachu. Esam has answers out of shield. Here we go. Oh, tries to get something there on the landing. Not quite going to be able to find it. The tech chase. Oh, does not read the roll. That's a free opportunity for Light to bring it back around. And Esam trying to go for that ultra hard read, but Light just chilling, not picking, not like hesitating and picking an option too early. Because even if he picked get up attack too early, that would have threw away the punish. So right now, Light getting the stocks even. That's all Fox needs. If the stocks are even, it's definitely doable for both of these characters because. The, just how top tier they are, their damage output's absolutely crazy. Yeah, I mean, it's basically an even game. Like, anything can happen, basically. But we'll have to see. Light with the control here, but gets clipped by that back air rising out of Esam. Oh, man, he's waiting on the ledge. Oh, he gets in there, but Esam returns it, almost taking the stock here. What's the edge guard? The down air will connect. Now, Light on his very last stock. All right, we'll have to see. Oh, no, he thought Dang. he could get something. Oh, oh and he no. SD's really big. Esam just pinches his forehead like, why did I do that? Really big mistake, but he's going to bring it back around, try to bring back some momentum with these lightning loops. Yo, I know Light's popping off right now. Like, he was <laughs> like, yo, let's go. <laughs> tried to cheese me, tried to edge guard me at zero. Like, oh, I'll take that stock. And wow, now we have a pretty much even game here. Wow, this is absolutely insane. How characteristic of Esam. Pushes himself too far one more time. And you talked about that earlier. Sometimes Esam feels himself too much off stage, and he puts himself in very, like, really bad positions, or he just gets the SD. Another up here! Oh, oh he man. doesn't commit to it. He turns back to the stage. What's Light going to go for? Gets oh, it the SD hop, even the double jump too, but Esam... Wait a minute, it. what? He didn't get it. He didn't connect it. He didn't dash far enough. He had the Nair. Wait a minute. The Firefox almost killing Esam off the top. Move is so, so powerful. Esam trying to get this dash attack. Light maneuvering around. Jumping around, looking for this falling aerial. Oh, the tech chase. Tech goes for the dash attack. Still sends him high, but this is Town and City. High ceiling comes out. Oh, and it goes low, but the down air not the quite able to do it. Close up with the thunder. The, wow, and the up air almost killing as well. This is so close. The up air is light is going to summit. He saved the double jump. He got the up air, and wow, light gets it. And how tragic of a story. Esam was up an entire stock, but he got the SD. But you know what? You got to take those, man. You the hugs are coming out, though. Esam, nothing but respect. With that momentum, brought it all the way back. Esam, in another timeline, that was his summit spot to take but here light is gonna bring it back around he does not look too happy about it no big pop-up or anything i feel like he knows 
Yeah, you I just kind of. <laughs> Light is definitely a player that wants a good set, and I, I definitely know that Light's disappointed that you know Esam did SD at very low percents. Because even some of the other SDs that we've had during this 10-game Grand Finals, most of them were like, oh, you're at like 120 in your SD. Like, you know that that does suck, but it's not as bad, dude. Like SDing when you're like an entire stock ahead like that, that can be so so tragic. But at the end of the day, you know, when you're in tournament, it is a test of your. Um, level of consistency as a player, you know, like if everyone never made any mistakes or if anyone like always hit their confirms it'll, it'll just be like robotic almost, you know what I mean? So yeah. right right there just Showing a little bit of human that we have in all of us and very unfortunate But at the end of the day light is gonna take it and very very solid 10 games And I mean that could be just like a show of you know that 10 game exhaustion, you know what I mean? Like he Went for the edge guard, and that was the correct play. But just be on that thunder, he had to hit himself. If he hit himself with the thunder, he would have stalled. But because he was drifting yeah. and he thundered, he missed himself. So, like I said, again, very unfortunate. But nonetheless, Light will be the one going to Summit. Charles, how many months are we into this game? 